guys, it's Christy. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late coming live uh, today. There was a little bit of confusion this morning, but I think that we are ready to do our question and answer and learn some more from our guest who's going to come join us today. Her name is Mickey Fernandez. And so I'm just going to wait for her to join and then I can add her to this live video. And I'm really excited to talk with her and for you guys to learn more from her. She's so inspirational. And every time I hear her talk, I, um, I get very excited. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I think it's adding her now. Hi, Christy. Hey. Okay, you look sideways to me. I don't know. And you look sideways to me. Is your phone... Um... Long the long way, it's up and down. Oh, that's why. Okay, so let me. Okay, I can go up and down because if you do it the other no. way, then we'll be side to side. Let me see. Uh, there you go. Is that better? I see you. I see you right next to me. Do you see me next? To okay. Me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. Does that look good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> So I was just going to say for those, I know that most of the people here in this group don't know you. So I wanted to just tell everybody who you are. Um, Mickey has been a coach for nine years, right? Yeah, nine years. <laughs> She's a 10 star diamond coach. And she was in the cast of UV2, which I don't know if any of you have done the um, Beachbody program called UV2. She was in the cast of that. And was also in the test group for 2B Mindset. So I'm really super excited to have her here today to talk about her experience and just share with all of us. So I'll let you just go ahead and awesome. let us you know, Well, you know what? Before, before we get started, I'm, I'm, I also have my laptop in front of me, and now we, we're both like sideways. And I want to make sure. Oh, do we? Yeah, somebody just said, now you're both sideways. Okay, so you know what? Go, go flip back to where you were, and I'm going to flip back too, because I don't want people okay. to get a headache. No. Let's okay, sounds next. good. So let me flip over. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens now. Okay. How do we look now, guys? This is so weird. And I was having a hard <laughs> time. Um, let's see here. I want to make sure. Now. Well, I don't know. Okay. Oh, now, now we're now it looks right to me. Oh no. <laughs> Are we good? I think we're good now. Okay. I think right. we're good. Oh. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Do you think we're good? I actually like it like this. I, I think so. Oh, I like it like this. Okay. So anyhow, Christy, thank you so much for having me on today. And I want to apologize about my huge mix-up. I've been on two, like, back-to-back. -back, and somehow, I guess because in my mind, tomorrow is the launch date. And I just, I wrote it down the wrong date. And I had it for tomorrow. But I'm glad to be here. I'm glad it worked out. You can hear me okay? And I'm glad. Are you frozen? or am I Yep, I can hear. You were breaking up a little bit. No, you're good. Okay. I'm good? Okay. So, um, yep. awesome. All right. So I want to share with you um, my experience with this amazing program. And by the way, I see that you guys are having a water challenge in here. Yes. I love it. Water is one of the, the first principles of this program, the To Be Mindset. So you guys are already a step ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so just a little bit about me and how I was casted to be in this program. Um, as Chrissy said, I was in the UV2 um, workout program against my will. <laughs> it's not a program that I wanted to be on. And the reason I didn't want to be on it is because I knew that by being on the screen, people were really going to see how much weight I had gained. Um, I have always all my life been pretty fit and, but nutrition has always been a struggle for me. Like I never, I would be the person who would go to the, I was always a gym rat all my life. And then at three o'clock I would have a carrot cake with coffee as a snack, you know, and still be able to like burn it off. My metabolism, I guess was high speed. Um, but that's not the case any longer. Things change. And so 
you know, I had, I had suffered a bad fall. I had a lot of, um, I was in a bad, I was in a dark place in my life for personal reasons, things that had happened to me. And um, I've always been an emotional eater. And most of the, I think, I think probably a lot of people can relate to this. When things are not right in your life, um, you turn to food for comfort. And I did that a little bit too much. And slowly but surely, the weight creeped on. Um, I was casted to be on UV2, which, by the way, was such a huge blessing. I just didn't see it then, right then and there. And so right after that program, um, I was then invited to audition because I, I had to go through an audition process to be part of the To Be Mindset, which is strictly a nutrition program. It is a weight loss program. Um, but I realized being in this to be mindset lifestyle for over a year, that it's much more than just weight loss. And so I, I had fed myself so many excuses as to why I had gained the weight. Like I just, I wanted to mask what was really happening. So I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but, um, one of the things that <clears throat> Alana who is the um, um, nutritionist in this program, the creator of this program, one of the first things that she said at the, at the first seminar that um, I attended was, it's not your metabolism why you can't lose weight, it's your mentality. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm, I've been using that excuse for a long time, that it's my metabolism, you know, I'm already 51, and when you get a certain age, things just slow down. And she says, on the contrary, if you have a slow metabolism, this program is perfect for you. It's great. It's great to have a slow metabolism. And you'll see why when you, when you, when you start the program, you'll understand why. Um, then she said, it's, it's not because you're menopausal that you can't lose weight. And that was another reason that I used. Um, I've been menopausal since I was 33. I, yeah, it's been 18 years now. And so I was using that as a crutch, all these excuses. Then it was, you know, the fact that I had suffered a bad fall, I have a shattered wrist, and I couldn't work out at the intensity that I used to. I'm like, oh, it's because I can't work out as hard, so I can't burn off as, as much as I used to. She said, it's not because you can't work out. It's because of, the, it's because of what you're eating. It's, it's the mindset. You're telling yourself that that's what it is, so then you're allowing yourself to eat crap which is probably why I felt like crap because I was eating crap, you know? Um, and it's not the stress. You know, a lot of people go, I'm such a stress eater. Most people that are stress eaters are more than likely battling with their weight because stress itself doesn't make you gain weight. Like a bag of chips doesn't make you gain weight. It's when you eat it, you know? And, and I realized that I was giving too much, um, I was, I, was, I was allowing outside factors to take control of my decisions. And so two, two, two principles that I've been sharing a lot, and I'm actually going to be sharing it again on a call this Friday, um, that you have to follow in this program is daily weigh-in. And a lot of people stop weighing themselves. Um, I know that many people just recently got off the 80-day obsession program. Um, many coaches and clients at that program. And that's one of the things that the trainer in that program says, don't weigh yourself every day. And I remember when she said that, I'm like, but I do weigh myself every day (laughs) because the scale keeps me honest. And so between the scale and the journal, those were the two, there's eight principles in this program, but those two, I would have to say are the most and why I'm so passionate when I talk about to be mindset. Um, and so when you order your program tomorrow, I can't wait till tomorrow, um, everyone's going to receive a tracker journal. Well, we didn't have that tracker journal back in February. So we had to go out my new weight loss story. And it's also, it also became my therapy. Um, I released a lot of um, emotional weight writing in this book. <laughs> It, definitely the biggest blessing. But what I want to share with you is what I wrote down on day one. Um, and uh, of course, you know, this looks very busy, but when you get the new, when you, or when you get your tracker, Beachbody did such a great job putting that tracker together. Um, and this is what I wrote. It was day one, Tuesday, February 7th. Current weight, 168.2. 168.2 was my first 
to a way in. I says, today I took full ownership of the number on the scale. My decisions, not my stress, not my metabolism, not my injuries, not my menopause, caused the number on the scale to go up. Ladies, even as I say this, I just, I felt empowered when I wrote that. There was a sense of empowerment that took over me when I wrote that there. I'm like, I'm in control. I got this. And from day one, I knew that I was going to be a success story. It was, it was a feeling like to be mindset is an experience. You've got to live it. You've got to experience it. Um, to be mindset has become the personal development for my relationship with food and understanding, understanding that emotional eating is wrong. There's nothing right about emotional eating. What we all need is emotional healing, not eating. Because when we eat our problems away, when we eat the stress, when we eat all that, it just makes matters worse. You didn't solve your problem, but I bet you, you probably gained like 10 pounds out of it. And so now you feel worse. Now you just made the hole deeper. And so that's, what, that's what's so powerful about this program. That yes, it's a weight loss program, but it's so much deeper than that. There's so much emotional healing that comes from this. Um, and by the end of day seven, ladies, I was already down 5.6 pounds on the following Tuesday. Total weight was 5.6. I was a happy camper. Um, Wait, Mickey, you just broke up. How much weight did you lose, you said? On, by week one, 5.6. Okay. 5.6. Now, they were women, um, and this is so important because I, I know, Christy, you're going to be running um, your own group. Um, with your with your team, with your clients. Um, it's really important, ladies, well, I don't know if there's any men in here, I don't wanna discriminate, <laughs> that um, you don't compare your journey to anyone else because it's so easy to fall into the comparison business. And so I remember uh, being in a test group and some of the women in the group, week one, there was this one woman and I'm waiting to interview her on my Facebook Live. She evicted 18 pounds the first week. 18. Oh my goodness. 18 pounds up. You know, um, some people were 10 pounds, like even 10 pounds is a lot, you know, but it all depends on where, where your starting point is, of course. But again, we, and so that's why, you know, the next day I wrote down in my journal, how very proud I was of myself because I didn't compare myself to anyone else in the group because this is my journey. This is my journey. That's what, I, that's what I want you guys to do. This is your journey. This is a new chapter in your life. So this, this, this tracker journal that you're going to get, that it's going to be your new, if, if your goal is to lose weight, this is going to be your new weight loss story. If your goal is to develop a healthy relationship with food, this is going to be where you're going to journal that. Okay. It's, it's like, it's, I like to call it's just a new chapter in your life. You know, right now I, this is, this is my chapter 51. Chapter 51 is this book right here. <laughs> Chapter 51. Um, I know that a lot of people are scared of the journal, but I, what I, what I want to stress about the journal is that, the I'm, I'm sorry, the scale, is that don't be afraid of the scale. Um, the scale is your best friend because the scale keeps you on it. Some pictures that say, you know, oh, the scale doesn't define me. I don't need to weigh myself every day. Um, you're right. The scale does not define you. The only one who defines you is your creator. That's it. Defines you, not the scale. But the scale keeps you Mickey, honest. Can you say that again? So, you broke up again. I did. Oh, I guess. I just, hold on. Let me just make sure that because somebody. Let me just. Am I back? Am I back? Yeah, now you're back. Yep. Okay. So what I was saying is that the scale, the scale does not define you. The only one who defines you is your creator, not the scale. What the scale does, the scale is just a tool for you to measure. 
you know, your goals. That's what it is. That's all it is. And it keeps you honest. The scale keeps you honest because one of the things you're going to be writing in your tracker, you're going to be writing down the foods that you're eating. Everything you eat, even if it's a handful of peanuts, you have to write it down. And the journal, by the way, the journal is for no one else but you. The journal is for you not to show Christy, your coach. It's not for you to show your spouse, your friend. The journal is, it's you. It's only for you. Okay. And so as you're writing, um, as you're writing your foods down and when you weigh yourself the next day, you're going to start identifying what are your weight loss foods. And so I was able to identify what were the vegetables that made me evict more weight. That's why I'm addicted to spinach. My spinach is my go-to, my go-to. Like every time I have a big bowl Sorry, of spinach, my phone's ringing. Tomato, that's okay. Every time I have a big bowl of spinach with tomatoes, avocados, um, and grilled chicken, it's going to be a huge weight loss day. It's just the way it works. My Shakeology, put two cups of veggies in my Shakeology, two cups of uh, spinach, because it doesn't change the taste of it, but I'm getting more because I saw you guys are doing a water challenge. It's always water first, veggies most. That's why I put veggies with everything that I can eat. I will add veggies in there because I know more veggies equals more weight loss. And then there's the journal and the daily weigh-in. So that's why she's, she calls it the two bunnies because when you follow the two bunnies, the ears, you're going to hop along weight loss. That's what it means. So you'll see us do this a lot. <laughs> um, so, um, but the biggest thing for me, guys, like I shared before, I've always been an emotional eater. And I realized that my mindset had really flipped the switch back in October when I had a little bit of a health scare. Um, I had gone for my regular uh, mammogram, which reminds me I have to call for the next one. Um, and they found a little something on my left breast, which was a little scary, um, as you can imagine. And they um, they had to do a, um, I, tend, I guess I have dense sonogram and I had to wait a whole week for the results. That was the longest week of my life. Like, and the old Mickey would have had the bag of chips. The old Mickey would have gone out and buy the Oreo cookies. There was a lot of things that the old, the old Mickey probably would have gained a good eight pounds in that waiting period. Instead, I lost weight because I stayed true to this program. I already had, a, I already had accepted the fact that emotional eating is wrong. And I wrote it down in my journal. I said, eating wrong is not going to change the test results. It's not. The, the test results are either going to be benign or not. But I'm either going to, when I receive the news, I'm either going to feel proud of myself for staying strong, or I'm just going to feel more miserable because I got bad news and I gained weight. So which one is it? You got to make a choice. So to be mindset really toughens up your mindset because the mindset is the toughest muscle to transform. That's why a lot of people in groups, you know, in my personal groups, when, when I see that they go, I like to say, did you guys go into the witness protection program? Because I haven't seen you in a while. Where are you at? <laughs> Where did you guys go? And most of the time, it's because something happened in their life. And they just stopped taking care of themselves. And they went into the emotional eating. I know that's what it is. That's why I've been reaching out to past um, clients of mine, even, even past team members of mine that I know that they're struggling and I want to help. And this program, ladies, is truly going to be a game changer. I am so happy that Beachbody finally brought a program that doesn't have an end date. It's a lifestyle change. And that we're really going to truly inspire taking care of our own health and it's really helping others do the same, you know? Um, I don't know, is, is this group a mix of coaches and clients of yours, um, Chrissy? This is all, it's all women. 
and these are all some of the people in here are current clients and are just you know trying out clean eating and okay so here's what current here's clients what and yeah. people that are okay okay so here's what I, I because of my experience because of my personal experience with this program I, I've been working with Alana now for 14 months okay mm -hmm. um, I'm not paid to say this. I'm coming from a place of conviction and a lot of love. But if you truly want to better your whole life, you want to change not only your life, but your family's life. Because when your life changes, everyone else's does. Because you become a better human. You become a better wife. You become a better child. You become a better parent, a better spouse. You become just a better you, a total better version of who you are right now. And there's people right now that are craving this program. They just don't know that it even exists. So when we start sharing our personal testimonies on here, and we're part of this amazing group of women in here that I know Christy's going to be leading this program with heart and hustle, with heart and hustle to change and empower so many women's lives. Um, and then we have the opportunity, guys, we're going to have the opportunity. Every single one of you is going to have the opportunity to work with Alana the way I did in that personal group. Um, to be part of that personal group, you do have to be a coach, but I don't want the word coach to scare you. A lot of you are like, oh, do I have to coach people? No, I want you to coach yourself to better living. Coach you, coach yourself. Because if, if you're in this group, it's because you want change. You want change. And this to be mindset is going to kick it up like a thousand notches, a thousand notches. Okay. You're going to be able to be part, not just of Christie's group, but you're going to be part of Alana's group, where she's going to have office hours. And the same way I'm coming here live, she's going to be going live in that group and sharing much more. I mean, the program comes with the videos. There's, I think there's like 41 different videos. Um, my favorite one, because I've been able to take a look at most of them already. There's one, one video where she's in the supermarket and she's going to teach you how to read labels. Like you're going to be at the supermarket reading some labels. You'll be like, oh no, I used to eat that. Not anymore, you know? And um, just for that alone, guys, say yes. You have nothing to lose and so much to gain. Like, I don't know if you know this, Christy, but Alana in her private practice in LA, she charges up to five hundred dollars an hour for her one. Yeah, I, I heard it was two fifty an hour, but I could see there's different. Yeah. There's yeah, I say up to five hundred because it's different. Um, I guess packages that she has, but so yes. she can charge up to that much. Um, but still, even that, even at the two fifty an hour, what we're getting is for a fraction of that. No, you know, yeah, so. it's a. So I have a question for you. For those of us who have been doing the portion containers, I know some of us here have been doing that. Some have not. Some have never done that. But for people who really like structure and they're afraid of not having that, what would you say to that? Okay. So they're clearly two different, two different programs. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because this is not a container um, system at all. This is what we call the plated system. And so once you learn the plate system and you're going to learn um, how to plate your food, there, there were times, um, quite honestly, that I would take out a container just to measure my plate. I'm like, okay, this is about 50%. So um, you would take a, a regular dinner. So I'll give you a perfect example, okay, of what a plate is. Is that okay? So, for example, for lunch, you would have... Um, 50% veggies, 25% protein, 25% carbs. That's how you would plate your system. So half of your plate, you fill it up with veggies, a quarter with protein and a quarter with carbs. But it, it's not just the plated system, it's understanding the why behind the plated system. There's logic behind it as to why, you know, for breakfast, for example, for breakfast, it should be 50% protein. 50% carbs. Why is that? You're going to learn the purpose behind every food category. You know, you're going to learn why you don't eat carbs at night. You eat zero carbs at night in this program. Okay. 
Why? Because carbs give you energy and you don't need energy for dinner. You don't need energy at night because most of the time people within a couple hours, they go to sleep. So you don't need the energy. And I gotta be honest, like I, I tested it in my journal and I purposely, I said, you know what? I'm gonna have a carb at night. Let me see what happens the next day. I gained weight. Wow. I gained weight. Mm. <laughs> That's very interesting. I gained weight. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I don't have carbs at night, no fruits at, at night. And that's, there's going to be a lot of, I got a lot of ahas with these eight principles, you know, yeah. and that's why, you know, there are 41 videos and you can honestly sit and watch all 41, you know, within a couple of hours. I don't recommend that. I recommend that people take them one at a time and absorb it, understand it so that you can apply it so that it makes sense. Okay. Um, so I hope that kind of answers the question. Yes, that answers it. Because I know, I know for people who like structure, it can be scary. Yeah, um, no. There, there's structure to this. It's just a different type of structure. It's just a different type of structure. You, you, you're just going to gonna be eating certain foods at certain times. So there's still structure just without the containers. And then what about, because um, I hear a lot of people talk about how you have freedom. So if you want to go have that piece of cake or that cookie, you can do that. Yes. So I did that. I do that all the time. Um, okay. And so she has a model. She, is, she actually calls it the shore model. And so in that shore model, th see that there's a way like, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, we all went to Mexico, right? Unfortunately, we were in two different ways, so I didn't have a chance to take a picture with you. But um, everybody, when we were in Mexico, everybody was ranting about these donuts that they had. Oh, you got to try these donuts. They're so good. From day from the first day I got there, I'm like, well, you know what? I'm gonna have the donut, but I'm not gonna have it the same day I got there. I wanna treat myself to that donut, but I'm gonna wait till we get closer to the end. Because otherwise I'll be eating a donut every day. I don't wanna eat a donut every day. So I'm just gonna wait. It's a mindset shift. Like this program is a perfect name. This is a it's a perfect shift for it. Um, so she has this model where you earn, you gotta earn it. You want to eat the donut? Great. Drink your 16 ounces of water first. Drink your water first. Have your veggies next. Have your piece of protein. And then instead of having a carb, then you can have that treat because the treat really is a carb. Most of the time, all treats are carbs, right? Very true. You know, and so there's, there's, there's a system. You know, I would say that there's a logic for Ilana's madness and it works. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Yeah. You know, one, one of the biggest thing I realized um, in, in this group, I, I never knew anyone who had PCOS. And there's, um, and it's, it's much more common than what I thought. And one of the ladies that's in uh, the 2B, no, in the UB2 video with me, uh, Dee Dee, Darlene, who was also yeah. in the 2B mindset, she has PCOS. And she had tried every diet under the stars to help her. I, because people with PCOS have a hard time losing weight. And um, she's a victim, like 85 pounds. Eight. Yeah, she looks amazing. Every time I see her, I see less of her. Yeah, she looks like a different person. Completely different person. So this, like, she loves to cook. I don't. Anything with, okay. yeah, I don't like to cook. So how are you, uh, did you learn strategies around that? Okay. Yes. Yeah, she teaches you all the strategy. Like yesterday, I went to Trader Joe's. Um, yeah. And uh, that's, the most, that's what we did all our food shopping while we were in the test group. And so Ilana taught us certain foods in Trader Joe's. Like they have this, let me show you. Do you go to Trader Joe's? Do you have a Trader Joe's? Yeah. Yes. You do? Let me show you Trader Joe's. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I get this from Trader Joe's, the Southwestern chopped salad. And then I okay. get, and I throw in some, some tomatoes, so you a lot of veggies. Then their chili lime chicken burgers are the best. And this is a perfect dinner. Oh, I've never had those. 
Mm -hmm. A perfect dinner. I also okay. put avocados. It has a great salad dressing in there. So I take a plate, and because it's 70 for dinner, 75% um, veggies, what I do is okay. um, I take maybe like a quarter of this. I think a quarter of okay. here, and then tomatoes. Um, I'll take some cucumber sometimes, and I'll throw it in there with my salad dressing, my chicken burger, and it's dinner. So this is great. Who doesn't like to cook? Um, but she does she recipes. Yeah. Ilana shares amazing recipes for those that like to cook. A lot of the recipes that she's shared, I love them. So what I'll do is I'll make bulk of it. So I don't have to cook every day because I just don't like to cook. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't like to cook, but I have learned to cook through Beach Body. Yeah. But yeah. I, I can't say I love it. My husband's better at it than I am. <laughs> yeah. Like she, she taught us how to make Shakeology um, um, cupcakes. Those are the Ooh. best. That sounds amazing. I, I, I don't know. I, I, if it's not in there, I'll, I'll share it with you. It's like literally Shakeology, ripe bananas, one egg, and coconut oil. And Yum. you mix all that and you put them in the, in the, in the, in the muffin, um, put them in the oven and you can have two for breakfast. So I would have two of those for breakfast sometimes with, um, a cup of coffee and that would be okay. breakfast. Or I would that have sounds a snack because sometimes, well, now we have beach bars, but those muff, those, those, uh, cupcakes are delicious. So do you recommend Shakeology with this program? Absolutely. What would you say? Absolutely. Okay. Um, one of the things um, Alana's going to share is um, she always says, you know, be consistent with your breakfast. Mm -hmm. If you have a consistent breakfast, it just starts your day on the right foot, you know? So for mm -hmm. me, Shakeology, most of the time was my Shakeology for breakfast. It, you know, and I would have my Shakeology with some spinach in there, half of my banana, almond milk, and peanut butter. Okay. And so that, that became my consistent breakfast. If I wanted to switch things up a bit, then I would have Shakeology as my snack. But Shakeology for me is like, that's my, that's my fountain of youth juice. Like I have to have it. Oh. <laughs> that's yeah. what I call it. My I'm, fountain wait, of youth. I'm, yeah. I've been drinking it since August of 2015. So yeah. So, um, yeah, and, and then you can, you, can, you can make so many things with Shakeology. You have it as a shake, make it with the um, um, cupcakes. Um, yeah. Alana also makes, that could be a treat. I heard she also shows you how to do something where you make, oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I, I also saw she teaches you how to make it almost like an ice cream or something. She does. I don't, she okay. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Alana, Alana is... Um, She's a volume eater. She loves to eat. So um, you guys, if you're not following her on Instagram, you should follow her on Instagram. She has great stories with her little Olivia. Yeah, I follow her. Could I bring... Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, you were... She really is. She really is. Yeah, and, and you're going to and you're gonna get to know her even more in, our, in, um, in, the, uh, in the group, in the 2B Mindset Success Group. So Mickey, how much have you lost? I don't think we shared that. Oh, I've lost a total of 30 pounds. Yay. I've lost a total <laughs> of 30 pounds. And then, yeah, um, I'm still not at my goal weight though. Um, I want to evict another 15 by summer. Um, okay. So I already gave it a date. And it's also the first day of summit for us in, Indiana okay. in Indianapolis. So I want to show up um, to summit. Uh, first day of summer at my ideal weight. So I want to get wow. down to 130 and 145 right now. So I, I'm going to get there, you know, because what happens is, you know, and some people do lose, you know, you get to your goal weight, you know, do you just keep losing this plan? Well, you go into a maintenance mode um, and then you're more lenient. You know, maybe you will have that carb at night. Mm -hmm. You know, and so what happens is you will see, you will see a gain because you're going to gain weight when you have carbs at night. There's no way around it. And, um, but then you get back on track and then you lose it again because you know how to reverse that number, you know? Okay. Um, so I, during the holidays, I kind of fell into a maintenance mode. Okay. 
And um, Elana um, gave us some tough love in our group. She said, <laughs> she said, if you have not reached your ultimate goal, you shouldn't be in maintenance mode. You still need to be on weight loss mode. I'm like, okay, I felt it. Got it, Alana. That's, I love her realness. You know? Yeah. That's what well, I and I also. And I also love, for those of you that don't know her, she has lost 100 pounds herself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that she totally gets it because she's had her own struggles with weight. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has. Yeah. 100 pounds is a lot as a, you know, as a, as a young child. And, and it was all because of her upbringing and everything she was going through. So she was that emotional eater. So that's what I love about her. And that's why I want everybody to experience her because she knows everyone's struggle. Mm -hmm. she knows everyone's struggling she can relate and so when you're relatable um you listen to people. like i when she spoke like i i dropped all my belief system and like i was just listening to her yeah i'm ready to listen to her yes <laughs> yes i can't wait for everyone here to you know to hop on the to be mindset journey um you are going to your your future self is going to thank you for it Okay, I just saw a question. Somebody asked, um, she says, I always feel like I want or need more food containers. Is this something that the program allows? So I, she's talking about healthy fats. Right. Well, we don't, well, yeah, well, we don't have blue containers um, because we, we're not in the container system. But what we do have, and you're going to learn in the plated system, right? So everything's broken up um, by water, veggies, protein, carbs. And then there's this thing called accessories. And that's kind of like where the blue and the orange container fall under. Okay. And so when you think of accessories, I love the way she explains it. Um, you see how you and I, I, I can't, I can't tell if you have earrings on, but, um, no, I don't, you don't. Okay. So you see how I have earrings, I have a necklace and that's all, that's the only, and, oh, I have this little bracelet. So that's the only accessory that I have in my outfit. It's enough to dress it up. Uh huh. But if I had on, 15 necklaces, you know, if I had all these with earrings up my earlobe and I had all this, I would look like Mr. T and then <laughs> it would be like, what is she wearing? Like, like she overdid it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what she says about vegetables and about salads. You want to give it enough to give it the taste, but not overload it. Like you don't want to have, you don't want to put vegetables on your accessories. You want to put accessories on your vegetables. Mm hmm. So that, that makes sense. Yeah. So that was like, and she's very visual. And I remember she had a picture of a woman that had all these, all these jewelry. I'm like, she looks ridiculous. She goes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes people do to their salads. It's ridiculous. That's true. I think about salads when I go out to eat and just some of them are, are crazy. Yeah. All the stuff that's on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Do I So um, does anybody else have any questions? I'm just checking to see if I see any questions popping up. I'm so excited for this. I will be buying mine tomorrow as soon as it goes. Do you know what time it's going on sale? Yes, I just saw um, that it's going to be, it said 12 a.m. That sounds like it's three, three o'clock by, by us, right? So we'll see by the time we so, wake up in the morning, it'll be up already. And so tonight, um, you know, we're going to have a, um, uh, a launch party at Team Eagle and our team page, um, Christy, we're going to talk about, you know, launching this amazing program tomorrow, but yeah, it'll be available the minute you wake up. Okay. Awesome. That's exciting. Yeah. And so for those of you that don't know, I just want to mention, I'm starting a preseason next month or this coming Monday, May 7th. And then we'll officially kick off our mindsets, mindset success group on May 14th. Yes. That gives me time to get their packages and everything. Exactly. So. Get the packages, read the material, you know, because it's yeah. really important. Um, us in the test group, we didn't have much time. We had to, like, start, like, right away once we, you know, we, we saw um, Alana's presentation. Now, and the other thing that I might want that I want to mention is um, there's going to be an app launching the beginning of June, but it's yes. only for iOS. But mm -hmm. um, I want to address that because my understanding is that you and everyone who was in the test group did not have an app, so you don't need the app to be successful. Not at all. This this was it. 
Yeah. Yep. This yep. is it. Mm -hmm. This is it. Um, and you know, you're, you're going to get a journal that's going to come, I think it's like a 90 day for three months journal. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm excited. Awesome. I can't wait until tomorrow. Like this is, I, I feel like a, like a kid on Christmas Eve today. Today's Christmas Eve. I know. That's how I feel. I'm excited. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me to, uh, today. Thank you so much for coming in here, Mickey. And um, I'm sorry about the confusion this morning, but I'm glad it worked out. Yes, thank goodness. Yes. <laughs> thank you for understanding. No problem. And ladies, good all luck right, to you. We'll good luck to you on your journey. I wish you guys all the best. Thanks, Mickey. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Okay, bye. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.